Let's power up your bead skills with this awesome retro toy. Here it is, a bead Game Boy. A video game inspired fine bead design that's easy to create you'll be able to make in no time. Of course, it's cool and old school, so here's the plan to craft this blast from the past like a video game in your hand. So get ready for a tutorial that'll hopefully fulfill your creative needs. Let's be sure to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. <laughs> Here's a list of everything you need to make the beaded Game Boy. To make the bead Game Boy, the first thing you'll need is to take 5 feet of string and add 8 white beads to the string. Now that we have those beads on the string, from this point, we'll take both ends of string, matching them up, pushing those beads toward the center of the string. This will be the first row of the pattern. Be sure to keep the beads in the center of the string to ensure that we have the same amount of string to use on both sides. At any point of this project, you can use a toothpick that you can run in between any of these rows to keep the beads straight, aligned, and in place. This will also reinforce the row of beads. Just be sure to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing to the sides. Of course, this is always optional, and there are other ways to reinforce a row, but I'll be using this method for this tutorial. With the first row finished, we are now ready to create additional rows using simple steps. So to make an additional row, We'll take one end of the string and add eight beads to the string. For the second row, we're going to have one white bead with six gray beads, followed by a white bead on the end. Once you have all of those beads on the string, this is what it should look like. From this point, we're going to take our other end of string and we're going to run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. As you can see here, you want to be sure to run the string through all of those beads to ensure that everything turns out correctly. Once you have that string all the way through those beads, with both ends of string coming out of each end, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing those beads together just like this. As you can see, creating a row is pretty simple. If you are having a hard time keeping the beads straight and aligned, remember, you can always use a toothpick that you can run in between any of these rows to reinforce that row. Remember, just be sure to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. With the second row finished and reinforced, we will continue repeating these same steps when creating additional rows by taking one end of the string, adding eight beads to the string. With those beads on the string, you'll take that other end of string and run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. As I've said before, when getting the string through those beads, Take your time to make sure that you don't miss any of the beads in that row to ensure that everything turns out correctly. Once you get that string through all of those beads with the string coming out of each end, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of the beads together. So just keep repeating these same steps and continue creating additional rows, remembering that you can always reinforce a row by running a toothpick in between any of these rows breaking off the ends of the stick to keep the stick from showing to the sides. Watching this visual reference, you will see that this pattern should be pretty easy to make, with a simple design of bead rows of 8, creating the image very similar to the Game Boy. With the first few rows that make up the screen, using gray as an outline, and a transparent or green for the screen. The additional rows after the 6th row will have black and red beads in the mix, to represent the buttons for this handheld system. And of course, you can see I've used white for the color of the Game Boy itself. As you may already know, after the original Game Boy, there were many other colors of the Game Boy as well. Leave a comment below letting me know what custom colors you choose to use. The tenth and final row will consist of only six white beads to give this pattern the defined shape of the Game Boy. Once you finish the tenth and final row of this pattern, You'll tie off each end of string with a knot that's tied nice and tight to keep all of those beads locked in place. As you can see here, tying the knot shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. Just be sure to tie off both ends with knots that are solid and secure to ensure that the beads are locked in place and everything stays together.
Once you've tied off both ends of string with knots that are solid and secure and the beads are all locked in place, you'll carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string. From this point, we can add on a lanyard hook on the first row in between the fourth and fifth bead of this pattern. Adding on the lanyard hook should be pretty simple as well, making this design able to clip onto nearly anything. With that lanyard hook attached, your bead game boy is now complete. And there you have it, another fine video game inspired bead design that was fast fun and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to fulfill your creative needs. Until next time, power to the players. Thanks for watching Turbo Beats.